I know, Simon. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wait until we tell the boys and girls all about it. What? They're here. Oh, hi there, boys and girls. Mrs. Kania and Simon. We have some number fun coming up. And today we're going to listen to a story called Mouse Count. And you know who's in the story? A snake. Right? A snake is in the story. I know you're so excited, Simon. You want to get going with the story? Okay, let's go ahead and listen. A hungry snake finds 10 little mice and counts them into a jar for dinner. But the mice are clever as well, and soon they outwit the snake. Mouse Count. Written and illustrated by Ellen Stoll Walsh. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes. And they all took naps. While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. On his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. It wasn't long before he found three mice, little warm and tasty, fast asleep. First, I will count them, and then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count. One. Two. Three. He dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Four. Five, six, seven. But the snake was very, very hungry, and seven mice were not enough. At last, he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty fast asleep. And he counted them. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I'm going to eat you up, little warm and tasty, said the snake. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet. And look at the big mouse over there. The snake was very greedy. He hurried off to get the big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way, and another way, and another way, until over it went. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, 
one. The little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he got back, the jar was empty. So it sounds like the snake lost out, didn't he? Did he actually get to eat any of the mice? No. What did you notice about the book, Simon? The snake did look like you. It had some stripes on it, didn't it? Well, Simon, do you want to help us act out the story mouse count? You do? Okay, well, we'll see you in the next video, and we'll act out the story mouse count. I can't wait. See you then.